we're still here in Indianapolis. And we're gonna cover a very important segment right now and uh, we'll do this with Jeff Shiwi. And this is black and white conversion. For all of you that actually love black and white, but we're all shooting with color cameras, this is one way and a really good way to get your images converted over to black and white and then go through the rest of the procedure to make your print. Jeff, you're on. Thanks, Kevin. Um, so one of the things I wanted to show is doing color to black and white. Now, the interesting thing is in the old days, I used to shoot black and white, often with a yellow filter, sometimes with an orange or red filter, um, because you could change the panchromatic response of the film. Panchromatic means the color response to the film. The cool thing about digital now is we're shooting and we're capturing all the color and we can make black and white conversions after the fact. So uh, there's this image of the old uh, truck. We were there together. Yep, that's our um, hidden hidden treasure in the Palouse. Yeah, there's, you remember this? Oh. <laughs> Yellowstone? Yosemite. Yosemite. Yeah. Was Yosemite was you it? remember this? Yeah, I Yosemite. remember. I don't know why your expression is like that, but it's Because I saw fun. something in the water look really cool, like okay. a snake swimming towards you. Jay Maisel. Uh, but what I wanted to do is to show a conversion from color to black and white to tone black and white. And this is an image from Italy. Here is the original color image. And we selected this because it's probably pretty typical of what most people will try to do as a, a normal image of yeah. you know, doing a conversion. Now the color is decent, but doing the conversion to black and white, if you go to the black and white panel, uh, now you can do an auto, and what auto does and it's Mark Hamburg's <laughs> uh, uh, formula to make um, color contrast optimized. And, and it's just when you have different colors can go to different black and white tones, sometimes the colors are converted to tones that are indistinguishable. So you wanna be able to adjust the uh, tonal relationship of the color. And as you see the um, uh, auto is, is maybe a little bit suboptimal. But you can come back in here and use the targeted adjustment tool, the TAT tool. I, I think like that's the, the coolest tool in Lightroom. Basically click on an area in an image and basically adjust the tonality. And you can see there your sliders moving that relate to that. And it's so quick and it's so easy to do. And you can use it in other areas of Lightroom also. But a lot of people don't know about that, which is now good that you showed that. Well, it's just the ability to fine tune and yep. adjust the image to be oh. the way you want it to be, to be what you want, want it be. to be. It's so almost an army here story. is the adjusted image. Now the color grading allows you to do um, highlight, mid-tone and shadow color toning. And I really love, it used to be the uh, split tone uh, but what I like being able to do is to come in here uh, and in this case, using just the shadow function to adjust the saturation and the hue. You can go, go all the way to blue and I, I really kind of sometimes like a very Cool flavor like to full coat of flavor, yep, but flavor to taste. Mm -hmm. Yep. But also, I used to print on a lot of uh, Agfa Bravura. I use Kodak G and H. Yeah. Um, so the ability to adjust the saturation, also the luminance of the color, although that actually can adversely affect your tone curve and require readjusting. Then the blending and the balance, you can kind of control what areas are particularly targeted. So um, now the other thing that you can do is come in to do a split tone where you set the highlights to be warm. That's a little bit too saturated. And then come back in with the shadows to cool down the shadows. Yeah, some people actually find that they have a, a style they like, and of course you can save these. And you know that's 
something that you know they've spent a lot of time adjusting and that's their look and that's the way they want to do it. And of course, if you do save it, you can then apply it also to all your further images. Create preset. And in this case, it's going to be color grading. And it's going to be split tone, warm, cool. And it's only going to save the color grading and then that can be applied to um, pretty much any of the other images that you want. Uh, the ability to do the uh, uh, conversion from color to black and white and assign the tonality different colors and then be able to do a, a monochromatic uh, split tone or warm tone or cool tone like the images up here. Now, once again, you got the options and your cactus ones are great. I love the way you did the tree. And of course, our pickup in the old barn. Yep. Uh, there's a story behind that pickup, but we, we went, we've been going to the Palouse for so long and nobody... This loose, was, loose in the Palouse. Yeah, and it's just, there's this garage that's been sitting there and this is back like forever. It's when the phone numbers there were like three digits and it's just this perfectly preserved Dodge Ram truck sitting in this little barn and a few people know about it, but um, I stumbled upon it a long time ago and I've been photographing it ever since. And now it's gone with the word that somebody's taken it and uh, bought it to restore. So yeah. we'll see where that truck ends up. The other thing that I'll say is in the case of the Epson and even in the Canon, you can do the conversion at the print stage using the advanced black and white right. mode. The problem with that is that um, you don't have the ability to do the split toning yeah. here. And that is one of the disadvantages of the split tone in uh, um, uh, the Epson driver, but you can do split tone in image print. Image print. All right, well, Jeff, very educational as usual. Uh, it's always a pleasure to make black and white, and uh, we want to talk about your black and white cactus shot. So we'll come back to that one very quickly, and I want to say thanks very much. Appreciate you being here, and uh, this was a, a good step once again to show you how easy it is to make the conversions to black and white and even make your own style, and then obviously get it out to print. How's my hair? Wait a second, we gotta get a shot. <laughs> oh, gosh.